Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about what to do and how to replace a missing tooth. And before we jump in, let me quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Oftentimes, if you're missing a tooth or just had a tooth pulled, you had a tooth extraction, you will have four options on what to do next. And I'm about to go over these four options from the least ideal situation to the most ideal situation, which is also least expensive to most expensive. One, if you have a missing tooth that is not bothering your cosmetic appearance, maybe it's super far back there and you can't even tell it's missing, or if you don't even notice it's gone because you don't have an opposing tooth to chew with, meaning you lost a bottom tooth and your top tooth opposing it is also missing, then unless you're going to replace both, sometimes not really functional anyway. So option one is to do nothing at all. Leave the gap, leave it alone. But more often than not, usually this is not the best option because you will have bone loss in this area over time and the opposing teeth, if there are any, can drop down. Also, molar teeth are functional teeth. They are the ones that help you chew your food. So always, always, always keep function in mind, but know that it is always an option to do nothing at all. Two, get a partial denture or a flipper. Again, this does not keep the bone level where it should be, so you can get bone loss over time, although it will improve your cosmetic appearance and it can help you chew if it's a true partial denture, but sometimes if it's just a flipper, it's for appearance only. Either way, you need to remove it every night when you sleep, but during the day, partials and flippers will fill the gap. Three, get a bridge. This used to be the best option to replace a missing tooth before implants came along, but now it's not always the best option because you have to crown both adjacent teeth to the missing tooth. So if something goes wrong in the future with one of those two teeth holding the middle tooth in the bridge, you now lose the whole bridge, all three crowns. Plus, if the two teeth are healthy, you are putting crowns on healthy teeth that otherwise didn't need to be disturbed with the drilling and the crowns. And again, you can lose bone in that area over time. Four, the best option is to get a dental implant if you can. It is a standalone crown that does not place strain on any other teeth. It does not disturb the surrounding teeth and it helps keep the bone level. An implant is a screw that goes directly into your bone and after it heals, you get a crown that screws onto it. Pro tip, the screw itself is called the implant. The two tooth portion you can see is called the implant crown and the abutment is what holds the two together. Just some dental vocabulary for you. So like I said, as of today, implants are considered the best option to replace a missing tooth, but don't get me wrong, there are situations when your bone isn't high enough for the implant to be placed. In this case, sometimes you can get a bone graft where the dentist adds cadaver bone to your bone and sutures it up and then you're all good and you're all ready for a future implant. However, in select cases, whether it's due to other situations with your bone, due to health conditions or history of taking biphosphonates, in select cases, it is possible that you are not eligible for an implant. How to find out if you're eligible? Always one, make sure you provide a comprehensive updated health history for your dentist to review. And two, the dentist or dental surgeon will always have to take a CT scan on you before placing an implant so they can have a three-dimensional image of your jaw. After a consultation with those two things, your health history and your CT, you will then be able to find out if you're eligible for an implant. If for some reason you're not eligible, it's okay. Your dentist will determine the next best treatment option available for your individual mouth, whether it's a bridge or a partial or leaving it alone. Lastly, if you have not yet lost your tooth in question and there is an option to save it with a root canal, I'm all for trying to save your actual tooth first before you get an extraction. It's always best to have your own teeth if you can. However, if the tooth in question is not salvageable and it needs to be removed, your dentist will help guide you in the right direction for decision-making and treatment planning. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.